The following is a presentation on human and chimpanzee DNA chromosome sequences showing a remarkable similarity between humans and chimpanzees reflected in the chromosome count, general chromosome structure, the volumes of similar medium scale chromosome architecture, and the general high resolution similarity of genetic sequences. These all give strong proof towards the theory of evolution of humans and chimpanzees from a common ancestor. Or, for the fundamentalist creationist, it gives strong proof that God so loved the design of primates that he formed humans in their genetic image. The detailed data shown is processed from files downloaded from the NCBI website offering NTRES genome and FASTA file output of genomic sequences from a variety of life forms. In DNA, adenine bonds to thymine and cytosine bonds to guanine to make the familiar double helix of DNA base pair strands as shown here. The color used in this image correspond to the colors I will use to visualize the human and chimpanzee DNA data. DNA strands form into chromosomes in higher life forms, like humans and chimpanzees, as shown here schematically, where all greater primates have 24 pairs of chromosomes except for humans. In humans, it appears a distant ancestor had mutationally fused chromosome 2A and 2B, as seen in chimpanzees, to form human chromosome 2, giving humans 23 pairs of chromosomes compared to the greater primates with 24 pairs of chromosomes. This image shows all of human chromosome 1 taken from the Human Genome Project. It contains approximately 240 million base pairs of DNA, data describing the details of base pair adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thiamine in DNA. It is essentially a 240 megabyte photograph of around 8% of the human code. Here we go zooming into the human genome of chromosome 1 until we can see the incredible scale detail of individual DNA letters, each a different shade of gray. Now I have colorized each letter of the genome, black for non-coding or non-decoded areas, red for adenine, green for guanine, blue for thiamine, and dark pink for cytosine. Now I compress the width of the image 256 times to make the lines of code horizontally shorter to fit the human code on the screen. Now each pixel corresponds to the concentration of AGCT in red, green, and blue on the screen by reading left to right one line and then going to the next line all the way down to the bottom of the image. To make the image easier to see, I will enhance the display. Now I will simply zoom out to show the thin stripe of a section of human chromosome 1. This is the scale I will use to show a side-by-side -side comparison of human and chimpanzee chromosomes 1 through 9. Here is the beginning of the data for chromosomes 1 through 9 for both humans and chimpanzees, laid side-by-side -side for each matching chromosome. All chromosomes were processed the same to create these chromosome strips. The data you will see represents 1.7 gigabytes or base pairs of human and chimpanzee data for each, or about 55% of the architecture of the human code. Notice the nearly identical banding of colors in each pair of chromosome strips as the chromosomes are scanned down.